Hi everyone, welcome back to the shop. Uh, this week I'm making a project for me for once. Um, something that I've been needing for a while is just a nice uh, sort of ballet tray. Um, something I can put my keys, my wallet, all that fun stuff. Uh, just because I usually chuck it on my desk and it ends up being an ugly pile somewhere. And I'd like it to be not that. Um, so I'm going to be using some of the mahogany uh, that we store, stole from the uh, front porch when we tore that up. Uh, I've already went ahead and made the bottom panel, which is just two or one piece that I've ripped down the center here uh, and then glued together into a panel. Um, so it's a panel. Uh, and then I'm just going to put four short sort of walls on this and I'll be pretty much done. So uh, I'm going to take you through how I process this and uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Now this side still has a couple fragments on it, but with that little paint, I'm comfortable running it through the joiner and uh, getting what I get. So that is what I'll do. But first, I think it is time to resaw this down the center. And I tested this with the panel piece I cut yesterday. The bandsaw is actually plenty capable of it. I won't say it's the smoothest cut in the world, but it gets the job done. So on to that. Now I know eventually I do need a proper fence for the bandsaw table here. Um, and I do have plans to make one, but the thing with something like that is if you're gonna make yourself a tool It's worth doing the job without one a couple times So you know exactly what you're looking for uh, When you go to make it so I know what features to add so this is just a way for me to Test out the concept of the bandsaw fence without having to go too nuts with any construction that I then may or may not end up liking um, But this should work. This is how I did the other one and it'll be okay So I'm just gonna go ahead and feed this through and hope for the best So that actually worked pretty darn well. Uh, the cut quality isn't perfect, like I said. I'm actually going to end up only using one of these sides anyway, so it actually really doesn't matter. I'll probably use the thinner one for this. So this one I'll just use for something else. See ya. Um, I am going to plane this down, rip it in two, and start measuring out the sides for the, uh, the panel I made. You would never know that this was just rough cut by a bandsaw. Love a planer. So just to avoid making more cuts than I need to, uh, I'm going to figure out the dimensions of the sidewalls that I'm going to need. Um, I'm going to end up using box joints on these with my new jig. Um, so it's important to remember, because sometimes when you're cutting corners, if you're doing, say, lap joints, you have two that are longer than the sides that they have, and then two that are the same as this width, for instance. Uh, with box joints, since it's overlapped in the corners, um, they go longer on each corner. Now, I can afford to have a little bit of wiggle room here, because the uh, box joints are going to be cut a little long anyway. But I don't want to overdo that, so what I'm going to do is measure the actual width of this using my calipers here. It's worth noting, I never actually use the digital readout on this because the uh, battery doesn't work and it's those little annoying watch batteries and I just hate it. Uh, but it still works just fine when you're using it to compare relative distances. It's a quarter of an inch, so a little bit more, but that'll be fine. Or rather, a little bit less, but that'll be fine. So we'll just add half an inch to the measurements of the short and the side, the short and the long, rather. Um, and I happen to know that I've got the long side at 9 and 19 30 seconds. The short side is at 5 and 25 30 seconds, which are just really annoying fractions, by the way. Uh, so heading half an inch of those uh, to both of those gets me to uh, 9 and 19 30 seconds plus 
And that's how we do math, ladies and gentlemen. It's not pretty, but it gets the job done. I'm gonna cut that first and then mark the other one out. So that looks pretty good to me. Cool. Now I do the same for the short sides. Done. So now it's just a matter of ripping these down the center and making some joints. There we go, all nice and lined up. I'm just gonna sand down the roughness on these and then I'm going to uh, start the box joining process. So I spent a little bit of time getting this dialed in, just so. And I guess there's nothing for it but to go for it now and uh, try to make these work. As you've seen, but now is the real test. Let's see if I did a good job. I'm fairly confident I did. Now, if this weren't a showpiece that I wanted to, you know, look nice on the outside, I would probably have cut these two pieces at a time, and it would have ended up with a fairly similar end quality. Now, I am very pleased with that. That came out beautifully. Sides are all lined up. Looks good. Now let's see if the panel fits. It fits more or less perfectly, I would say. Yeah, I think there's a little bit of bow, but that'll come out with the glue, I would hope. Probably just because I don't have the corners perfectly aligned, but that is, that's the construction of it done. Now it's just glue and uh, finishing up. Hooray. All right, I've gone ahead and gotten everything prepped for glue up, so. Time to glue it up. I learned this tip while I was making the panel. Using a couple wedges counterimposed against each other with a kind of backstop block like this uh, makes for pretty good horizontal clamping pressure and that way you don't have to worry about clamps coming in and messing everything up. For any of you wondering what the heck it is I'm doing, I'm using some of the mahogany sawdust to help fill in any voids uh, in the glue just to make sure I have a nice even color when it's all said and done. This is an old dead battery that makes for pretty good weight for these things. It's a couple days later. I got sidetracked a little bit by real life work. 
Um, but this is the Gluto product. It's looking pretty good. Um, I just need to sand down the corners here, uh, do a little bit of finish prep. Um, I already went ahead, you might be able to tell. Um, there was a bit of a rise in the bottom for just from the glue up. I think it got squeezed and bent out a little bit, so I just planed that down uh, and it should be good to go. So, yeah, just gotta get this thing ready to get stained or waxed or whatever I do, and uh, it'll be good to go. Exciting. Side note my cast has arrived. So now I can actually wheel this thing around, which is amazing! That'll just increase the utility of this thing a lot, because I'll be able to put it just where I want it. And move it out of the way if I need to move bigger stuff around. Just a couple quick coats of white bond poly. Took all of 20 minutes. Mahogany's a lovely wood, both to work with and to look at. And now I have a tray of my very own. Hooray! So that's gonna about do it for this one. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. It's a simple little project. This one's just for me though. Uh, and it was only made possible because of some of the other videos I made, the uh, box joint jig, most importantly, uh, but also the flip top cart and a couple others. Um, so it's good to see that the progress I'm making is being used to make more progress as I go forward and hopefully that'll keep happening uh, as I develop more in the workshop. Um, if you like this one, go ahead and like and subscribe. It means a ton to me. Every subscriber matters. Um, all of you have subscribed already. You're amazing. Keep it up. You're doing great. If you have any recommendations for things you'd like to see me build or like to see me attempt uh, in the future, go ahead and leave those in the comments and I'll be sure to give it a shot and I'll see you on the next one. We'll make some more stuff. Have a good one.